Hello, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this look that I'm wearing. I'm completely obsessed. So romantic. So like, I don't know what else to use, but I'm just obsessed. I ended up using the Morphe 35XO. This is what she looks like. She is so beautiful. So if you have it, take it out. If you don't, that's okay. Let's work with what you have. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Ashley. I upload beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 12 p.m. So if you're into that content, consider subscribing and let's get into today's video. Now that we have you all close and personal, I mean, I hope this is you know close enough for you because I'm not trying to have you see my boogers but let's get started I already went ahead and applied a couple things so let me show you I went ahead and I concealed underneath my brow bone I used this elf camel concealer this stuff is amazing and this is in the shade late late wow light ivory and then to prime my eyes I use this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer this is in the shade Eden Eden, Eden. I used to always say it wrong and I still do and then I went over it with this here which is the P. Louise Base Pro this is amazing and this is in the shade Rumor Out 2 with this Morphe JH35 brush I'm gonna grab this color here called Talk Feelings you just want to grab a little bit because we're gonna slowly build that up and you're gonna be foking foking I can't really okay. no puedo hablar we're gonna focus this on the outer part of the eye you will see what I am doing, going back and forth and in circular motions. Again, we want to slowly build up this color. Since this shade is talk, no puedo hablar, for real, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Since this color is called Talk Feelings, I'm going to tell you right now that I cannot wait to see my nail girl. Like, I miss her so freaking much for those who didn't know i tested positive for covid and i've just been i mean i'm good now i have actually my test tomorrow to get tested to make sure that i'm gucci that i is negative which i have really really high hopes that i am but i'm not contagious anymore so i'm able to go about my day i'm able to go to the grocery store and all that stuff but i told her that it would just give me a peace of mind if i waited until I had a negative result since I will be going to her establishment. You know, I just I just want to be cautious. I mean, my nail tech is actually my friend. We've known each other, like, woo, since elementary. So, I, you know, out of just respect in general, I would do it for anybody, too. I would just feel safer if I get, like, a negative. And even then, I don't want to hang out with anybody. But, girl, I have been with these nails for, like, about four weeks and I still don't have, like, that much regrowth, but your girl, she changes her thing, like, every two weeks. Like, I usually go every two weeks. I need a new set. I don't know. Are you guys are like that, too? Like, I just want a new design and everything within two weeks. If I could, I would go every, like, one week. <laughs> but that's a little too much. I need to, you know, give a break to my nails. But let me know. Like, do you guys like to really, you know, do your nails and all that stuff? She literally is amazing she always gives me what i want and i just love it i love it so shout out to my girl blanca white rose beauty yes girl you slam my nails with the same brush which is the jh35 i'm gonna grab this color here called touchy feely and i also want to focus this color basically in the same area where i applied the uh talk feelings color we're going to be marrying these together. That way there's like just a nice transition of those two different shades. You guys, this pandemic, I have gained so much weight. Like it's not even funny. I mean, I've always been a very chubby, chubby girl. But I've been looking at my videos lately. And yo, my double chin is just like no joke. Like it's right there. I used that. It has its own freaking personality and everything. Like... No, no, no. I mean, coming the new year, I feel like a lot of people, just like myself, and I say it every year, and somehow I still end up being disappointed. I want to, you know, just be healthier, be a better version of myself. But this double chin got to go, girl. Uh-uh, it's all about angles. You see, like... <laughs> I'm trying to show you, like, when I'm taking my pictures, that, that bitch is gone. She's gone. She is deceased. But... In video she is present and very much alive <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to I can't I can't take myself any I can't take myself seriously I just cannot but I'm gonna continue to grab a little bit more and again I just want the main focus to be 
on the outer part of the eye. And with this Morphe JH33 brush, I'm gonna grab this color here called Eye Contact. And we're gonna be adding that as like a transition shade right where that color has ended upward. Just to give, you know, some contact. <laughs> to give it a little brightness. What is wrong with me today? I don't even know. I don't even know. But we're just adding this color here to add a little bit more color and more brightness. With this Morphe M433 brush, I'm gonna grab this color here called Come Here Often. And I'm gonna be putting this right under the brow bone. I love to always apply eyeshadow underneath the brow bone because it just doesn't look shiny because you know I put concealer there and it just helps blend everything too. It just, it's just the vibe. With this Morphe JH40 brush, I'm gonna grab this color here called Show Some Skin. I'm not even actually showing any skin right now. I'm like almost turtleneck, long sleeve. This is actually really, really comfy. Very, very warm. It's actually a pajama like topper. Like I would not sleep with this though because I get really hot at night. But I like to use this like when I'm around the house, you know, when I'm right here because it's a little cold. Lo en el Costco in case you guys are wondering. But let me get back to this. I'm going to go ahead and focus this again more towards the outer part of the eye. And I don't want to bring it too high up. I want to bring it up into like where your crease kind of starts. And then I'm going to be blending it more outward once I get the pigmentation that I like. So little by little, we're going to be building this color up. Yo, so I filmed... Okay, so I came across this video on TikTok. I've talked about this... Not this particular situation, but I've talked about how there's a lot of people who have hated, well, expressed their feelings towards the Selena um, series on Netflix and how much they disliked it in the sense because of, they felt that it was just very low budget, they could have done better, and all that, right? So there was this girl, she did a video and talking about like how bad it was and the wigs and the nails and all this stuff, right? So then I stitched it, which means kind of like I duetted it. I responded to that video. And uh, I wasn't trying to come at her. Like I said in the beginning, I was like, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But I just wanted to just let people know in case they weren't aware. Is that they also had to consider the fact that this series was also shot during COVID time. So beauticians weren't really able to 100% be there to install the wigs and, you know, manicures and all of that. Because she, like, pointed the fact that, like, the manicure just wasn't it. And I said, well, first of all, like, Selena, when she started, you she didn't go get manicures. She did it herself. Like, you never once see it in the movie or in the series that she goes and gets a manicure. At least not that I recall. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But, I mean, obviously, within time, when she started getting more fame, she had more money. I'm assuming she did. But in the beginning, you saw she did her own. She would color her own hair. She didn't go get it professionally done, you know. Like, she customized her own um, outfits and everything. So, I wasn't trying to create hate or anything. I just wanted to let people know that certain, like, beauticians were able to help to a certain extent. Like, they were actually in there in person for some of the scenes, but not all of it. And uh, she was like, well, you know, uh, the it was filmed a year prior. Like, you know, the trailer came out in 2019. I said, yes, the trailer came out towards the end of 2019, but they obviously continue to film throughout 2020. But I, I could be wrong. All I'm saying is because my resource here is the fact that I know somebody who uh, worked um, in the in the film. I mean, in the... Oh my God, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> who worked in the um, series. Sorry, I like had a brain fart there. Um, yeah, so I know him. He's amazing and everything. So I know that he wasn't able to be there and he had to like do certain things with them via Zoom. But now I don't know. Was that for this first season that just came out or were they working on the second one? I don't know. That I honestly don't know. And I didn't feel like texting him to ask him, but you know, it could be a thing. At the end of the day, I really enjoyed it. Now back with this JH35 brush, it has a little bit of that touchy feely. In it, I didn't grab any more, it just has a little bit left from whatever was left. And I'm just going to use that to blend this out. And this look does require to go back and forth with some of the colors because obviously I'm adding, you know, colors. And when you add colors, sometimes whatever you had added previously could have, you know, disappeared because everything is blended, honey. So just know that you can go back and forth and add to your liking. 
but I just want to soften this up a little bit more, bring this color up more out here because we want to make sure that she's alive. With this Morphe JH41 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called With This Bling and we are going to apply her not all the way in the outer part of the eye because I want to keep that as matte as possible, but I will focus it right here. I don't know what the term would be. I'm not good with matte but right here <laughs> you might not see the bling right now but just you wait she will surprise you but just tap it on right there and then after we apply the eyelid color we will be coming back with this shade now time to cut the crease i am going to be using the elf 16 hour camel concealer again this is in the shade light ivory and to do so i'm going to be using this brush this is the morphe 224 brush it is a concealer brush and i love it so freaking much i recommend it to everybody and now i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the eyelid again the main focus is gonna be more towards well not again i never said this in the beginning we're gonna be applying this more towards the inner part of the eye because i don't want to go ahead and cover that bling color that i put on so apply this until you meet with bling. Ooh, we're gonna have a date with bling. This look is actually really pretty for like Valentine's Day or any day. <laughs> but it just, you know, this probably reminds me of Valentine's. I'm gonna go ahead and use like my ring finger and I'm just gonna use that to press down the concealer and kind of melt it. And that way there's not gonna be a harsh line. Back with the JH35 brush with whatever is left on it, I'm just going to go over where I applied that concealer. Well, I mean like on the crease. That way there isn't a harsh line as well. Just very lightly. Now with a flat eyeshadow brush like this one, I'm going to grab this color here called Major Seduction. I'm going to be applying this where we applied that concealer. So I'm just going to tap that on and slowly build it up. I don't want to swipe. I want to top. That just works for me. I cannot wait for Christmas because my mom is going to be making some tamales and some champurrado. And I love her tamales and her champurrado. It's legit. Now for Christmas, what is like your must watch movie? Like you have to watch it either on Christmas Day or just like on the month of December. For me, it's The Grinch. I just love Jim Carrey so much in that movie. I just love that one. Like, literally, love The Grinch. I usually watch it year-round. Honestly, whenever I'm in the mood, I'll just put it on. But it's a must for me during, like, the holiday season. I also like to watch, like, Home Alone. But what movie do you like to watch during the holidays? We're going to be playing tag a little bit. I grabbed a little bit more of that bling color. And I'm just going to tap it on because I want her to show again. And you're just basically going to go back and forth until it's nice and blended and you like the way it looks. But I want to make sure that I get good pigment of with this bling color. Again, most of it's going to be on the outer part, but not all the way out. I don't want there to be shimmer all the way up here. Just more right here. And just be patient. And then whatever is left in the brush with that... Major Seduction color. I forgot the name for a second. I'm just going to tap it over again. And it's slowly just going to melt and blend. Back with the JH35 brush. Again, it doesn't have any color on it. Well, I mean, whatever's left. I'm just going to go ahead and go over the crease. That way there isn't a harsh line of like that bling color or the seduction color. That was just nice and blended this morphe m508 brush i'm gonna grab this color here called charmer i'm going to place this color as tight to my lash line as possible because i don't want to put on eyeliner but i do want to make the tight line a little smoky so that way when we put on the falsies it doesn't look like out of place or something so let's just hope and pray that it works but i'm just going really close into my Lash line. And I don't want to make it too thick either because I just feel like when I do eyeliner, I somewhat make it thick. And then I feel like it loses a lot of like the bling. You know, the, what? 
You see what I'm saying? I just vomit words. I can't talk. I just feel like sometimes when I apply eyeliner, it takes away like the eyelid shimmer because then it's too dark. And I don't want it to be too dark, so that's why I decided to use this color and apply it on my lash line. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup and then I'll be back to finish the eyes. I am back. By the way, all the makeup details will be down in the description box, so check it out if you are interested but i'm gonna go ahead and use the m508 brush i grabbed a little bit of that show me some skin color and i'm gonna be applying that on my lower lash line as close to the lash line as possible this is so hard for me to do for whatever reason but we're just gonna smoke this look out now with the jh40 brush i grabbed a little bit of that touchy feely color and I'm going to use this to smoke out the lower lash line. That way there's a little bit of like transitioning and blending going on. And then the bottom lash line is going to somewhat match what's going on at the top. And that way it's like, you know, a whole party. So just keep doing this until you like the way that it looks. With this Morphe JH39 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called Your Move. This is going to be our inner corner highlight, so I'm just going to place that right on the tear duct. And that's going to kind of like open up the eye, and then I'm going to blend it a little bit upward and a little bit downward. That way it's not just like a dot right in the tear duct. That's why you still want to blend the inner corner a little bit. Now with this MAC Black Eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and put that on my top waterline. And this is going to help so that when we apply the lashes, that it blends nicely. Now for the bottom water, I'm going to be using the MAC Eyeliner. This is in the shade Nude. And I'm just going to apply that again on the bottom waterline. That's going to help open up the eye. I don't want this to be 100% smoky, so it gives it a little bit of balance. I already went ahead and curled my lashes and applied mascara. I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in the color black. Now for lashes, I'm going to be applying these Coco lashes. This is in the style Fifth Avenue. So I'm just going to pop these on and uh, that completes the look. This is the final look. I am completely obsessed with the way that this turned out. I feel like it's really romantic as well as I feel like this would look good in all skin tones. I'm just completely obsessed with the way that this came out. Not only that, but I'm in love with this palette. It, she is just so beautiful i mean it's the color story for me and like the names too for example we got um slay the field we got hair flip your move major seduction i mean i love the names i love the color story this is actually my third tutorial where i film using this palette so if you are interested in seeing the other two make sure to check out the eye card i'll go ahead and put those videos as well as other tutorials where i filmed with different morphe palettes i'll also put them in the description box for you as well with all the makeup details so whatever is easier for you whether that be the eye card or the description box either or now i upload beauty fashion and lifestyle videos tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 12 p.m. So if you're into that content, consider subscribing. Hit the bell button to get notified when I upload a new video. Hit that like button. It lets me know what you like and don't like. Now, I really hope that this look inspired you to create. So if it did, if it inspired you, then go ahead and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Will you be recreating or what other tutorials you guys like to see from me? So comment down below. I love to interact with you. You're more than welcome to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. I post little previews of what I'm filming as well as I get to interact with you and you get to see a little bit more of my personality. So if you're into that, go ahead and follow me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye!